So today we're running a bunch of little uh, modular crawler obstacles, kind of a, it's a contest, sort of. We're just hanging out, having fun, and uh, everybody brought out some really awesome obstacles. We're all going to vote on them at the end. Pretty sweet. So make sure you guys stick around, check it out. Ben, tell me about your uh, your obstacle here, sir. It is a very modular teeter-totter. It can just be a flat teeter-totter or a flex teeter-totter. Um, you can change the height of it so that the angle is easier or harder. This is at its hardest setting. The way I just went is the easier of the two. Coming back up, the direction I just went down is very tough. So you can just flip them over and, oh, you even got to wait. That's awesome. You can flip them over, make a flat side, flip one side over so one side's flat and one side's got the, uh, the flex. It's pretty beefy looking uh, obstacle there, sir. It all then oh, yeah. folds up into a pretty shallow bin. It gets oh, yeah, put away uh, into this at the oh, end nice. of the day. Yeah, being able to make it compact and put it away is awesome. I honestly don't think I can do this with this truck. The trail warriors just aren't quite up to the task. That one, it's doable. I've seen it done, but it's very challenging. When you get to here, you just need to turn that way. But I don't think my, I just took a hacksaw. Just chopped at it. And, and just ran it. Maybe a little patch of grip tape gets you yeah. up there. Well, I can throw more hacksaw lines, but I kind of think that having something that tests everybody's limits a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Is the best high end of the obstacle to have. Well, and like you said, you can run it the other way. It, you know, it's, it's not like that prevents you from enjoying it. Yeah, and if you really do want to run that, you can always adjust the... Oh, yeah, that would make it easier for sure. ...middle peg. Yep, yep. And then both sides are pretty doable if you've got a capable, like, class two-ish truck. That's awesome. Well, good job on that. Thank you. <laughs> then we got this awesome BB pit. Also bends, folds up into a box. Get in line here behind them. Dude, we play tag. Just sit in the back now. <laughs> How do I run this upside down? How can I do this with those? <laughs> Not one way. Dude, I seriously built the face on the side of my mountain. That's very so these two are mine. I'm going to do a video on this guy and this guy. We'll show you. I love the tree and reeds. Good word. Tis the season, bro. I have to do that. So we've been... How do you feel the BOA trade driven out of that breakover angle? Oh, that breakover angle. Stuck in three. Ooh. That's Donzo. That's the death right there. Yeah. I'm going to say this can go in three. We're playing. I think we're going to keep. All right. So we're going to run these little guys. This is a buzz saw with like an 18 or 20 tooth pinion and the German. What's it called? Do you remember? Model bow. Model bow. Yes, see? And then we got the Firatec Mini Komodo on 3S. So this is on 2S. This is on 3S with the Firatec Mini Komodo and Ultimate. They're both on FCX axles. Ooh, buddy. So one's brushed and one's brushless. One's 3S and one's 2S. That brushed 2S definitely seems to be uh, hanging. Ooh. <laughs> I'll 
Also, <laughs> bad place to start on the concrete with no grip. <laughs> Wipe out. You know, if you put the Max Smasher open diffs on them, they'd handle real well. You're going to do one practice lap and then we're going to race. Woo! Ooh, saved it. Oh no! Oh no! Marshall, Marshall! <laughs> we'll call it a tie. These are the normal pins, right? Mm -hmm. They're not the min pins. Did yeah. you see the OGRC pins that are coming out? They're just a tiny bit smaller and they're pre-gapped. Pre yeah. That thing was not very happy when I jumped it. Oh my god, come on. I did the same thing you did. It's like, gets stuck. Oh yeah, it is stuck. Yeah, yeah. Those are tiny, tiny, tiny times. They should help me if I'm I can avoid it, the gaps. I'm like, making yeah. it. I'm making it through the ridge. Whoa! There you go. That's awesome. Whoa! I can't even do that. Oh, all done. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I start recording. Buddy, you know who could get that? That guy right there could have pulled that off. <laughs> he was hanging by one tire. I was like, yeah, you can get it up that. That's pretty awesome looking there. What chassis is that on? No, it's a chassis. Cheat code. Oh, it is a cheat code. Yeah, titanium. You can do a lot of stuff with the stock chassis rails, so. I need to build my cheat code. Because I was going to do that 8x8 eight eight with two cheat codes. So now I've got two cheat code oh. chassis. 
Yeah, build a cheat code, man. This is my favorite rig for sure. I'm building another one right now. I'm carving one. Because I run this in class two and three okay. at our comps. So I'm going to build a, the carbon one for class three. So I have one for each and a backup too. You like those tires? The Shyrax? Yeah. They're really good on rock. I think they'd probably be better on this stuff if they were clean. Right. I'm not trying to spin. Oh, caught me doing something bad. <laughs> Sometimes it's just about trying to do dumb shit. That's always what it's about. Try again. Like I said, the ESC is kind of wonky. It's meant for a race car. It's, meant, it's, a, it's a high speed ESC. You're good, you're good. I don't think you can get out of that. No, probably not. I just don't want to break it. No, you're good. You just go this way. My first casualty of the day for a 3D printed build. We got stuck in a gap and broke our shock. Or spring. I keep calling them shocks. They're not shocks. It's okay. Oh, this front one broke too. I just realized we need to we need to make these a little thicker out of a little more rubbery material. Anybody out there that can print me off some of these guys, I can get you the file. I need it in like a soft rubbery material that won't break.
Get out of here. So guys, guys, this is what this is about, right? We're here, this gentleman and his son come in and they're checking out all the crawling and everything and they're like, this is awesome. This guy here, what's your name, bud? Name's Domingo. Oh, Domingo? Domingo, Domingo. Awesome, awesome, nice to meet you. He let this, this youngster borrow his truck and run it around for a couple of, like an hour, maybe two. And now this, this kid's going home with this guy's truck. He, he's giving him the truck, guys. This is why our community is so amazing. Did you have fun with this thing, buddy? Yeah. How much fun did you have? Good. Good fun? Yeah. <laughs> you like the obstacles? You like that it's fast? I, I love the favorite part I love. It. Oh, racing on the track? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Dude, you are what makes this amazing, bro. It's a community, it's all the, to bring everybody together and we're all family. Family for sure, for sure. All right, buddy, have fun with that truck, all right? Do some cool stuff with it. All right, guys, everybody's clearing out. I'm the last to leave, but we had a blast. The, uh, the white BB pit ended up winning. I took second place with my little teeter-totter and uh, third place was I think the pipes, there was a pipe pipe obstacle. Anyway, it was a super fun time. Everybody that came out was super awesome. Uh, if you're local in Colorado to any of the events, make sure you join our Facebook group. I'll put it down in the comments below. We have uh, Colorado Mini RC, and there's all kinds of 24 scale, you know, crawling stuff, as well as some of the on-road uh, Mini Z or 128 scale, and then even Mini B and Mini T stuff. Anything basically smaller than 116 scale, we kind of talk about in that group, um, and it's local to Colorado. So definitely check it out. And yeah, hope you guys get out there, do some events, run your cars, crash and smash them and bash them, but don't break the expensive parts.